Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the show. Uh, you've probably heard that for a lot of dogs and cats, the best option to give them is raw, healthy food. And we are going to learn about that right now with Ina Schechtman. She is the owner of Red Dog Blue Cat Raw Pet Food and a very special guest star and her biggest fan, Adara, <laughs> is here today. How are you, Ina? I'm good, thanks. So first of all, introduce us to Adara and what kind of dog is she? Uh, well, Adara is a Irish Wolfhound Great Dane Cross. And <laughs> she's just over a, it. She's just like, a small, oh, she's like, whatever. <laughs> I love and, it. And uh, you adopted her when? I adopted her about eight years ago at the Richmond SPCA. I was volunteering there um, for about two years and she walked through the door and stole my heart. Love at first sight. And uh, for larger really, yeah. dogs like that, Great Danes and Irish Wolfhounds, whether a mix or not, or any big dog, usually at eight years old, they might have a lot of health problems, but uh, Adara does not? Um, no, she does not. In fact, the um, Irish Wolfhound and Great Danes have an average lifespan of about eight years. Wow. And she is now nine and doing really, really well. And in many ways, she uh, played a big role in, in what we're talking about today, this uh, company that you started for raw food. How did this all come together for you? Well, um, when I was looking at adopting her, or not looking, when I realized that she was going to be coming home with yeah, you, you had her no choice. Yeah, <laughs> I had. Uh, I got on the computer right away and started researching um, diets and training and everything that I can think of because um, I've had family pets before that my parents raised, but um, I. Most of them passed away from a lot, you know, they had illnesses and things yeah. and they were feeding them commercial foods and I wanted to make sure that I knew everything I could about large do breeds because I've never had one before. They're always pretty small dogs. And what I found was that for large breeds there was a lot of health problems, there were short lifespans and one of the big things that was emphasized as a preventative measure is a good diet. So maybe you can explain uh, what is in this here and why it is good uh, to put a dog on a raw food diet. Absolutely. What we've got in here is meat, organs, and vegetables. Period. Very, very, very basic. I yeah. mean, it's not, it truly isn't a new concept. What it is is that in nature, that's what they would eat because that's what they have access to. They would forage for some greens, grasses, roots, and they would hunt down and... Uh, <laughs> that's fine to say. And they, would eat, they would eat red-blooded animals. Is what Absolutely. They would do. Right. Well, and, and it, people don't quite understand that, uh, you know, physiologically, there's such a big difference between our stomachs and our system and what a dog needs to eat and the way that their stomachs actually operate. Really acidic and mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of differences. So uh, how much does that play into this? I mean, uh, you know, is it certain kinds of meat? Is it certain kind of... Well, it's just like with us, it's variety. I mean, she gets every single meat that I could possibly find, and so that includes buffalo, venison, chicken, turkey, anything I can get my hands on. And maybe you can explain the ratio of um, meat to vegetables, first of all, in the dog food. Mm -hmm. So how, how much is, uh, and what kind of vegetables do the dogs eat? Um, well, the ratio is we use is 75% meat and organs and 25% vegetables for dogs. Um, some meals will actually have a little bit less, but it kind of varies from one to the other. And um, the vegetables we use are primarily greens, like leafy lettuce and kale, and, and we use a little bit of um, squash and um, zucchini, but mm -hmm. we yeah. try and get it as green as possible. What about the cats? Well, the cats really don't need a lot of vegetables at all. We add a little bit in for fiber, but um, we don't, mostly it's meat. Cats like all oh, meat. Oh, they <laughs> like all meat. They're finicky little ones. Yeah. Uh, and the sourcing is hugely important uh, for you in terms mm -hmm. of uh, you know what you're actually using for products as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, to the point where uh, we're going to see an example, I would be <laughs> happy to eat most of this. But tell us about your sourcing and, and how important the ingredients actually are. Well, because the ingredients are being served raw and they're being handled by people as well, um, it's it's very important for us to make sure that we do what we can to keep it as safe as possible. And so we right. source all our product from federally inspected facilities that abide by very strict standards in the way they handle the product. And then in our own facility, we also abide by very high standards. And we've had people tell us that it's in better our facility is cleaner than most food places. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Now, a lot of people think raw food uh, for pets is a little kooky. But what is it about commercial pet food? And we're not talking about all kinds, but some kinds have some, some bad additives and things that are actually bad for the animals. Is it, what, uh, what is it about commercial pet food that is bad? 
Well, uh, it's what it is is what makes raw food better is that it's easier for animals to digest and it contains moisture. Animals naturally need moisture in their food, water in their food, in order to be able to digest it better and easier. And so when you take food and you cook it and you dehydrate it, that takes away from that natural process. So it mm -hmm. becomes harder for them to digest. Now they have to drink more to compensate for it. And it just puts a lot more strain on their digestive system. And what kind of uh, differences will people notice in their animals once they put them in a raw food diet? What kind of physical benefits are there? Um, well, the benefits that I've seen firsthand and also heard from other people are uh, much better coats, a lot more energy. Better breath. B better breath. That is yeah. a big one. And even more importantly, <laughs> smaller and less smelly stools. Oh, Michael, that's kind of nice. This is a good time for you well, guys. <laughs> maybe I should be on a raw food diet. Okay, uh, we're going to give some to Adara is so bored right now. I know. Uh, Adara <laughs> is just, Adara is waiting for snack time. That's what Adara is doing. I just tell you a story. When I first got her, I actually started feeding her whatever that recommended and we used to live on the second floor and she'd run down the stairs because I'd throw a ball down and every single time she'd run down there'd be a little toot 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 all the way down the oh, stairs. Like a little train. Yeah, a story. little train and as soon as I switched her to raw that stopped that so away. it just that was a good clue How for interesting. me. Yeah, it's a good indication that <laughs> the digestive yeah. system is She's working She's like, don't properly. talk about me but like that, I'm uh, a lady. What is Adara eating today? She is eating a buffalo and veggie mix. And what is Michael eating today? He's I, also eating a buffalo and veggie Sorry, mix. I was going to ask, when, when you sell them, do they come in variety packs or do you just sort of each one has its own ingredients and its own theme? Uh, well, right now we sell everything in, uh, so the store would buy this box and there's individual packages in there and oh, then nice. when, when they open it up, people can buy variety. variety. Yeah. Now, uh, Michael, I know that... <laughs> This is my own bowl. What am I eating? <laughs> buffalo. Oh, Do yeah. Do you want ketchup? Yes. I am a buffalo soldier. <laughs> <laughs> and Adira is having the same thing? Okay. She is. And, and the packages are really easy. You just, uh, they're sealed for freshness. And then when you're ready to feed them, you just Mine, by up. the way, just in case anyone is actually concerned about whether I'll be at work tomorrow, which I doubt, <laughs> mine is actually cooked, so. Yeah, uh, the animals but can But it's still, it's all the same. This is the same ingredients, right? We just basically. Absolutely. Can I give it to her? You I don't sure want to start before Adara, so. Adara? Will What's we this? be friends forever? <laughs> oh, he's just done with it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even it's like, I'm not even going to stand up to eat. Here, can I have your little name showing? There we are. <laughs> so, if you want to find out more, you can go to the website. Uh, if you want to have a happy cat or dog, reddogdeli.com is the website. You can find out all the information about where you can get it and uh, if it's delicious, Michael. It's good. Yeah? It is really You're good, in? actually. Yeah. <laughs> You know, he's the only person I know that wouldn't just take it's one It's like a bite. buffalo burger. Although I do have the urge to start sniffing. <laughs> God, help me. We're going to take a break. And when we return, get away from oh, me. Oh, sorry, sorry. I can't help it. We'll be back with more right after this. Don't go away. Hey, have you been in the park? <laughs>